Today we're going to change the cooling kit on an AW210. To do that, we're going to need the new cooling kit, electrical tape, or we can use heat shrink and a torch, Phillips head screwdriver or a drill, wire cutters, wire strippers, preferably with 18 gauge, and needle nose. To change the cooling kit, we're going to need to access the back of the unit. There's a back panel. We need to remove the back panel. There's going to be three screws in the bottom portion of the unit. Now that the back panel is removed, we can plug the unit in. To find out which is the broken cooling kit, we can touch the cooling kits. If the cooling kit is warm to the touch, it's gonna to be working perfectly fine. But if it's cold to the touch, that means the unit is not working properly. So I can see that this one's cold and we're gonna to need to replace the bottom cooling kit. So we can unplug the unit out. We're gonna to have to remove the two screws that hold the cooling kit in place. They are located on, on each side. Before we pull out the cooling kit, we have to make sure we don't pull the cord that's connected to the inside. So you want to remove it real slowly. And here's the cord. You unplug the cord and set the cooling kit down. We we'll take our wire cutters, clip the zip tie, unravel the wires. We can disconnect. The NTC cable, this one, and the fan cable. We're going to be splicing the, the power cables with the new cooling kit. It's going to be the black and red wires. Take the new cooling kit. We're going to use our wire strippers. So now we expose the wires on the cooling kit. Now that that's exposed, we can connect the cooling kit back in the original place. Tuck the wire in. Make sure it does not obstruct the fan. Secure it in place. Do not screw it all the way in so you can have an even field to screw in the screws. Now you can tighten as needed. Now it's secure. We can then splice the wires properly. We're going to take our heat shrink and we're going to cover up the exposed wires with the heat shrink. You can also use electrical tape if you do not have heat shrink. So now that we got the heat shrink in place, we will splice the wires. All you need to do is tie them together with the corresponding colors. Black on black, red on red. Take the heat shrink and cover the exposed wires. Once they're covered, we'll take the torch and shrink the heat shrink. Make sure it's secured. And now we'll do the red one. Same process. We tie the wires together. And 
and we'll cover the exposed wires with the heat shrink. Take the torch. Make sure they're secure. Then we'll connect the fan back into its original spot. Bottom right hand corner where it says fan. Connect the NTC1 cable. Top right hand corner where it says NTC1. Now that we have the cooling kit installed, let's check to see if it's working properly. Plug it back in. We got our fan spinning, that's a good sign. The cooling kit will not get warm to the touch right away. You might wanna give it a couple minutes. It helps if you lower the temperature on the unit. Now that you know that the cooling kit is working properly, we can then put the back panel back in its place. Do not forget about the screws that are at the bottom of the panel. And those are the steps for replacing the cooling kit on a thermoelectric wine cooler.